Hello YouTube, welcome back to Transport Fever and today, today I think in this episode we've got to do a number of updates in as many places as possible. I'm going to start with this medium street here because the AI has built out here but they've, they've not really worked out that this road would be well connected. So there we go, road connected, don't say I don't do anything for you, Transport Fever. Also, this road could be connected, but I believe that one would probably want to be a bridge, and bridge is just not going to happen, unfortunately, because that is way too close. Uh, bridges will eventually happen. Right, uh, next thing I need to do, I fast-forwarded quite significantly because I think these trains are due an update. So let's go ahead and update these trains on the Southwestern Railway. Uh, vehicle replacement. Let's hope that this thing does tell us how many meters long this these are. Uh, we've got the Baldwin six wheels with some very slow cars. We could put those on. Don't I get another sort of vehicle in 1883? I can't remember. I might get one in 1883, so you know what? Let's just fast forward to 1883. Uh, in the meantime, whilst we're fast forwarding, let's go and get ourselves over here. Suggestion by someone said switch this train over onto. Nope, not that. Switch this train over onto the East Grinstead Food. So I'm going to do that. And switch the East Grinstead Food train, which is this one, onto. Padsto food. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Of course, now the trains are the wrong colours because that's a green train on a blue line and that's a blue train on a green line. But there we go. Uh, yeah, come on, you can go across there. Compartment car, I knew we got something in 1883. Okay, so let's slow that down. Phew. That could have been disastrous, that could have. Had I not set up this junction properly, that could have been an absolute disaster. So thank goodness that that's not. Okay, uh, what was I going to do? Yep, run along over Camelford? No, that's not where I want to go. Somewhere down here. Here we go. Uh, and it's the trains that are running down this line, which are, let's have a look. Uh, 79 meter trains weighing 75 tons with a top speed of 25 miles per hour, 32 years. So, if I go ahead and upgrade those, replacement, set vehicle. Um, from a Baldwin six wheel to a Baldwin 280 class 56, I think that's quite good. Let's give it a nice yellowish color, like so. Uh, wagons. Right, it's 37 miles an hour. That's I'm happy with that. That's exactly the top speed. 10 tons, 11 passengers. Um, compared to 25 tons, of, yeah, that's going to that's going to have to do the trick, isn't it? 154. There we go. So that's what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many did I put on? Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of them. So that's going to give us 121. Yes. Yes. Let's see these things upgrade. Upgrade, update, whatever they're going to do. This is probably the best place to see it happen. Let's zoom in. Let's get rid of that. Let's prepare ourselves. Prepare ourselves for a large train to appear. Any time now. Here it comes. The Baldwin six wheel at 79 meters is going to become a different train. And what was it? Um, I thought it was 25 tons. That's that's. No wonder American trains need so much tractive effort. That looks good. Screenshot. That looks really nice. Look at that. Yep, 
Yep, that looks good. That looks good. I must say, American trains, they do look fairly nice. I just find that... I just find them a bit too bulky, these steam engines. Steam engines look good. I think the diesel engines and that are just too big. You know, every, I think everything in America is just really oversized. I mean, America, yes, is a big place, but it's rather oversized. Right, 120 of 121. How much does it weigh? And can it reach its top speed? Uh, it weighs 160 tons. Wow, that's quite heavy. But, the maths on this does work out quite nice. Okay, good. 30 miles an hour. So it's already beat... Yes, no, this is good. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. How much, is, how much do they cost to replace every time? 3.49 million per vehicle minus the old vehicle value. They're not really worth much, the old ones. I mean, if we have a look... Is that the old one? Yeah, that's one of the old ones. How much are they worth? Uh, value, 261k. Not much at all anymore. But, this is a good sign. This is a very, very good sign. So all these should be able to update. 115k. Is that already updated? That one's already changed. Look at that. Lovely. This is going to be very, very nice. Right. So let's let them get on with their upgrade. Um, I have noticed that there may not be enough money. So let's see what this one brings in. That's another problem. Leave this down here. I'm hoping this brings in enough. 5.29 million. We've got two trains left to upgrade. Two trains left to upgrade. Replacement. How much do you think? How much do you think? 400 grand? Maybe. 392. Hey, I was close. I was close. Okay, another train has just upgraded because that's just gone down to 1.92 million. Which train is it? It's not this one, is it? Oh, this one's not going to get to upgrade. This one's upgraded. Which is chasing it. Ah. This train is chasing that one. We need the extra money, so quickly do that just so we can get this train upgraded. And as I say that, that happens. But that's okay, because we're going to use this money. Once this last train upgrades... Well, I've got a feeling this this uh, series is not going to last very long with um, any amounts of lag or anything. Right, there we go. That's all the trains... Upgraded, fantastic, 100%, stop upgrading. We will come back to that in due course. So that's two things done today. We've upgraded the four trains here. We've changed around this here. Okay, so that's that's good. There were buildings here. They've just disappeared. That's annoying. Okay, next thing we need to do, I think, is get another train down this route. Now, where is this train? This train's coming back this way. I kind of wanted it on the opposite end. So, let's keep an eye on that train in the corner. And we'll come back to it. We will come back to that one. Um, over here, on the other hand, where are the trains? There's a train there and a train there. I think we can get another train down this route. So, oh, we don't have the money for it. We may have the money for it. What are the trains that run down this? Where are your trains? Those are the trains. Vehicle. It's a Prussian. Prussian G3 with 10 Bavarian cars, I think. Two, four... Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes. All right. Let's do that. Let's see if we can get another Prussian in a deep blue color. Okay. Good. And ten reddish Bavarian cars. Uh, 
this is not going to happen, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Never mind, it will happen. Ignore what I said. Loughborough Valley Railway. Off you trot. Good. Okay, so we've got things going. This is... The reason this is important is because we obviously want to make sure that we can, uh, we can get as many trains running as possible. So out of Alston, things looking good. You know what I'm tempted to do? I'm really tempted to make a shipping line across there. I'm really, really tempted to do that. There are houses here. Where are they all gone? Why are you disappearing? I'm really tempted to do that. I'm also really regretting the choice, this configuration choice. Where are the trains here? There's one there, and there's one coming back. Send another one along, it's just not going to be enough. So let's leave that. This one I don't want to replace yet simply for the reason if I do that, this thing's going to produce so much, I'm not going to be able to keep up with it. I'm just not going to be able to keep up. So that's why I'm holding off on that. I'm trying to control the growth a little bit here. That's quite nice. Come up right to the railway. What we got out of this train? 240. 222. Okay. Um, we could get the other railway running. Where are we? It's there. Okay, so that's going to take forever. So we could, in theory, start up this railway. But we need to start up the the coaches and the, um, the bus routes on here. Right. Okay. Let's let's do let's do a bit of that. Let's do a bit of that. Let's uh, go. And you know, I'm just going to make them on both sides now, just because it's what I used to do in Train Fever, and it did allow some greater flexibility. Like that. So that's going to be one side, and then the other side can sort of be down here down this road um, this road maybe it'll come around no let's do yes no yes let's use this road because, yes no yes 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 no yes what um, and this road even though that's kind of close but that may allow for some expansion out over here not sure what to do around this side, but there you go, there's one. Uh, this one's got the bus there. I think perhaps if we were to make one just here, like that, uh, on this side, on this side, on this side. This may be small enough to just do one round loop, to be honest. I might just do one round loop around that. Okay, and this one, this is a big town, Chagford. Um, here. Da oh, wow. Okay, here. Then perhaps we can come down this main road here. Right here. Then up over here, and then up to the bus station. Good. The other route should go this way. Maybe down this road. Oh, wow. This thing really comes out far. Up to here. Down here. They come back up and sort of that way. Should do the trick. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and make those lines. New line, new line, new line, new line, new line, new line. I still need to color these things. Okay, let's start. Uh, here, 
to here we said here down here there okay good so that's a uh, shuttle Chagford North so we'll name that shuttle Chagford North and I'll paint that one bright red and then we'll do this one one tell you what we can just go this way that way yeah that will do and uh, why not we'll just pop down that route again why would you do that why what why okay whatever we'll, we'll, we'll let it we'll let it go yeah we'll, we'll let it go um, we'll work it out as it goes along we'll call this shuttle check for the south And we'll color this in like a, a deeper red, not that deep, like that. So at least you can see the difference. Okay, so that's two done. Um, you know what? Why not? Buy road vehicles. No, yep. come on. Uh, stagecoach. Yeah, let's do those. Um, one, two, three, four, five in bright red. Okay, vehicles have reached their lifetime. Uh, which one was it? Checkford North. Some in not so bright red. I said not so bright red. One, two, three, four, five. Checkford South. Good. Okay, that's good. Um, three minutes to go. Let's make the rest of these routes. It's probably a good thing. Um, and then at least by the next episode, I'll have them all running happily. That one, that one, that one. Oh yeah, this is we're just going to do in one go, aren't we? Yeah, I think we'll just do this going around. So this is just um, shuttle. Basingstoke. Yep, that will do, and we'll just paint that red. Uh, road vehicles, we'll just go ahead and put some nice red ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that should do the trick for Basingstoke. Good. Line five will eventually disappear. Um, here we go, Watson. One two, three, four, five. Yep, that looks good. And then one, uh, should we go two, three, four, five, six. Why not? Seven. There. So we'll have the north and the south. Shuttle Watton South, which is bigger than Shuttle Watton North. But but we can offset that with the number of with the number of vehicles we've got. So, depot. We will go for the north we shall have for the north we shall have five. One, two, three, four, five. And for the south, north, what was it? Watton. Watton, Watton, Watton. There. And for the south, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There. Awesome. It's actually got all of that running. So, with the money we've got, to end the episode off, why don't we just create the train? Let's buy the train, get it running to end the episode. So here we go. Uh, um, I tried to keep this as flat as possible, didn't I? There's some, there's a little bit going up there. This is not going to happen. This one's going to take forever. Uh, there's a bit of a bump or an uphill gradient there. I see it. Anyone else see it? Yep. Yep. Um, apart from that, it's fairly good. So. I think the Prussian's a good one on this one as well. Uh, what was the colour of this line? 
deep red. All right, well, let's go for a deep red Prussian. Here we go. Wagons. I tell you what, let's stick some compartment cars on this one. Um, how fast can the Prussian go? 31. Ah, the compartment cars, 7 tons, 10 tons, 8 to 11, extra 3 passengers, car spies. No, you know what, let's just go for these. And these can be, actually the green color will do. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Run along the central railway. so much happened in this episode i don't think screenshots are going to cover it all but there we go that's where i'm going to end thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transport fever leave a comment in the comments box below and do support me on patreon link is in the description box below though that's going to change around a bit so uh, if you are considering supporting me just hold off just for a few just for a couple of weeks or something uh, because that's going to change around to probably make it better. Anyway, I think that'll end there. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Transport Fever.